Hello! We are going to do another na nail art on our 123 Go tips. I'm going to go ahead and paint them this. It's almost a nude beige color. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I want the whole things this nude and beige color because we're going to do a little bit of ripped tiger action on it. So I will be right back. Okay, tips are nice and colored. Okay, I think what I want to do at this point is I want to use this pretty almost lion-esque cheetah type print. So I'm going to go ahead and put some um, You know what? I forgot to take the sticky layer off. I feel it. Okay, just hold. Okay, I'm back, and we have our our coat on of our paint. Um, at this point, I've gone through and I've taken the sticky layer off, and even though they still feel a little bit tacky in some places, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to put. A lit a little bit of nail foil glue just closer to the tips because I like to put some of this nice foil on it's almost like a cheetah type tiger print so I'm gonna go in and just put this on like the top a little amount doesn't have to be perfect on because we're going to be doing painting and we don't want to have a nice end at the bottom. We want it to be more ripped. So you can kind of do any, we're going to be kind of covering that with some paint anyway. So, so I'm going to go ahead and um, put our nail glue on for our foil and then um, I'm going to let it dry real well before I start to put it on and I will be right back. Okay, I have my my foil on. <laughs> my, my hands are just not working today, I swear to God. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of this orange polish. It's just from China Glaze. Um, what's This one's called Coral Star. What I want to do is I want to put some up here by the tip. Maybe just throughout a little bit. Mm. You know what? No, because I want... I just want to make sure that part's cleaned off there. I don't mind it being on the foil so much, but I don't really want it off the foil. There. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some of this color to different spots. What I'm just trying to do is I'm just trying to change up the color a little bit to the color I want. I just want to add... Uh, more of a um, tigery type look. So I'll be right back when I'm... Okay, I've added my orange. Um, I do want to add a couple more colors here. Like I said, I do want this to be like tiger-esque. So, before I go and I start adding um, my lines and stuff. I want to make sure I've got the color that I want. So I want to add some browns in. You can add it like over your orange. You can kind of add it in different spots. Just so you can see what I'm kind of doing there. 
Oh, it's really dark in here today. Oh, I didn't turn on my big light, that's why. So basically I'm just adding in some of my browns to my black and orange. So I'm going to go ahead and add the colors that I want along where I want it and then I'll be back with the next step. Okay, at this point I want to let it dry really, really well. So I went through and I put all my different colors on there. Sorry, I'm really messy with paint. But I put all the different colors that I wanted on there in different varying degrees. And I'm going to let it dry really well. When we come back, we're going to use some of our bubble bath as a quick coat over everything before we do a matte top coat. So I will be right back. <clears throat> okay, so this is where we are so far. So we've gone through and um, I've put my bubble bath on. Then I went through with a little bit of black just along where we ended our foil to make it look almost like a little bit of a ripped formation there. And so now I'm letting that dry. I'm going to let it dry well. Really well. And then we'll be back with um, our next part. I'll be right back. Okay, at this point what I'm doing is I have this color from Color Club. It's a copper. I want to add some more copper in here. And so I'm actually just going over the whole thing with a little bit of it. Just a really nice light, light coppery sparkle. Just to give it a little bit more of a, car a coppery feel. So I'm going to do that and let that dry. And then I'll be back with our next step. Be right back. Okay, now we're down to one of our last steps here. I'm going to take my nail. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit of water on it. On, I put some new black on here. I'm going to put a little bit of water just to make it run a little bit better. And I'm going to put on this one, I think I'm going to put a few lines. Hold on. I don't like this line, it's too thick. Just gonna take it off. Better. I'm using too thick of a brush, that's why. <laughs> Just wondering. It's like I'm using the wrong brush. There. A few tiger lines on there. Now the next one, I think I'm going to do cheetah. Do I want to do cheetah? Or do I want to keep with my tiger? I think I'll do... This type of line. So maybe I'll keep with my lines. I'll just do it a little bit differently. I don't think I'll go all the way up. I think I'll stay right there like that. Now, <clears throat> next one. You could always like change it up to do different. I 
Get it again. Now I'm going to come over. That one a little bit. More dainty. Wow, you're a loud drinker, Toby. Then there's that one. So I'm going to continue that along. When I get to the end, I'm going to let it dry really well. When it's dry, then I'm going to top coat it. And I'll give you some reveal shots. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, before I uh, send you the pictures or show you the pictures, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing now. I'm just taking a little bit of the black that I have and I'm just dotting it along the top just to give it like a, an effect here I'll show you so you can kind of see what's going on see so I kind of did that all the way along and now I'm going to top coat and give you reveal shots see you next time bye and here is our finished nails They're so pretty. I'll give you a little bit of light on those so you can see the sparkle in there. They have a lot going on in there, but they're very, very pretty. So nice. Okay, and I'll take some shots for you. And I will see you next time.